Epicor is an enterprise resource planning ERP software program designed to help you become more productive. One of the ways it does that is by performing some of the most time consuming and tedious tasks of your business. When you need to order a thousand yards of copper wire but your supplier only sells it in 500 foot rolls, it's going to take you some time to do that conversion to make sure you're ordering the right amount. Epicor solves this problem for you with their unit of measure concept. It will make ordering, inventory, and sales a breeze. Keep watching to learn more about it. UOM Concept Overview Epicor's unit of measure, UOM, concept allows you to add information for each part you have about which unit of measurement it is sold, stored, or purchased in. This eliminates the need for numerous calculations. This is particularly useful for businesses that work with companies around the globe that may use a different system of measurements. While you may track and sell products by the pound, you may have to purchase them by the kilogram. If you have Epicor already, open it up so you can follow along. We're going to go over each menu item that you'll see on the left hand side of the screen when you open up the unit of measure section of Epicor. How to use UOM. Let's go through a sample purchase order, PO, to show you how the unit of measure concept works in a real life situation. 1. General suggestions. The first thing you need to do is use the Generate Suggestions tool. This goes through your current list of inventory and locates parts that have fallen below the minimum stocking requirement. It then creates a list for you of parts you should order. The minimum and maximum stocking requirements are something you can set up for each part. It ensures you always have the right amount of parts on hand so you don't run out or order too many and run out of space to store them. 2. New PO Suggestions Once the suggestions have been created, you can look through your list. Let's say you need to order 6,000 feet of wire to meet your inventory minimum. Open that part and you can see everything you need to make the purchase. At the top of that box, you'll see the supplier. If the part has only one supplier or you have a default supplier set up for that item, you'll see the name of that supplier. To choose a different supplier, you can click the button and do so. 3. Check UOM Around the middle of the PO suggestion window, you should see the UOM conversion boxes. These show you our quantity, which is how many you will order, and supplier quantity which is the converted amount you need to order from the supplier. In our example, your supplier sells the wire in yards. So it will show that you need to order 2,000 yards from the supplier to get the 6,000 feet that you need. Now all that's left is to double check the rest of the form and you can put in a purchase order. Now you have everything you need to know to understand the basics of how Epicor's unit of measure concept works. As you can see, it's designed to make purchasing, inventory, and selling products easier. To learn more about how this works or to get help with it, contact us today. One of our experts will be more than happy to answer any questions you may have about how to use your current software or help you purchase new ERP software.